Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm Billy from Team Mambo, and uh, I really like Paleo, so I uh, decided to build Paleo for 2020 September. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, this is the Paleo list. I'll just get into the, the numbers. Um, so for Monsters, um, we play, play what's been like the norm as far as the the froggies have been since like 2017. So this this hasn't changed at all. Um, and then to try and I guess ease the access into this, drawing tree swap is obviously like always been the weak point of the deck. So to make up for this, we max out on Sang and Torgard. Um, so. Um, I guess the, the big thing with Torgard is you you summon Torgard, you summon Sangan, um, you make Verte, you make Dragoon, and then Sangan will add swap. Um, and if you're greedy, post side, because obviously people aren't going to have Nibiru in against you, um, if you draw swap with this, you make Verte, then your Sangan's going to add you a dupe, then you're going to pitch dupe for swap. Send Ronin and then make a Toad, so you end on Dragoon Toad, which is obviously pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this um, this means if you draw Torgard, you summon Sangan, you make Verte. If you draw Sangan, you just make Almirage, um, which means you have nine uh, Swap Frogs in your deck, which should be like a 72% chance of opening one of a nine. So the the likelihood of you drawing Swap is then like you know pretty big. Um, so that's the the real monsters, I guess, in your deck. Um, then for the uh, Dragoon package, we play um, the Dragoon package, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, then for hand traps, we play uh, three Ash, uh, three Imperm, and two Nibiru. Um, so playing eight hand traps is a, I think it's 67% chance of you drawing um, one hand trap and like I think it's 25% chance of you drawing two um, and I just think like eight eight or nine is like the minimum amount of hand traps you can play sorry this is in 42 as well um, but I think I think the minimum you should be playing is eight this format like um, having hand traps is just so dismissive uh, I side a lot more because obviously this deck struggles with going second um, so you kind of need more disruption uh, so that's the monsters and hand traps and stuff. So now onto the traps. Um, obviously, all the paleo cards are normal traps, so we want to max out on trap tricks. Um, this card's silly. Like, you just get to access whichever trap you need in your deck. Um, so yeah, uh, three trap tricks and then three ice dragon prison. This card is also silly. Um, being able to like yoink something and then banish t like essentially two of their resources. Um, it's, a, it's, it's basically just become like a better karma cut. Um, and what's really nice about it in this deck is if they, if you disrupt their plays and they end with something in Grave, um, you can end phase Ice Dragon Prison, take something from their Grave, and then chain a Paleo to Prison. Um, and that way it just gives you two monsters to try and like link climb and kill them next turn. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, then we get into the Paleos, um, so we max out on the good ones, so 3 Morella, 3 Dino, 3 Canadia, and then to round it up to 42, we play 2 Leonidas, um, Leonidas, Leoncolia, uh, yeah, like you've, there's 6 Disruption ones, uh, uh, Morella just lets you set up, and then Leon, Leon, uh, Leoncolia is just really good, because like in the later game, uh, you, you can just access it off um, Trap Trick, or you can access it off um, whatever the hell this thing is called, uh, <laughs> of Avenia, and then uh, you start recycling frogs and you actually start making actual pushes. So, yeah, that is the main deck. It's 42 cards. Uh, I think, like, I think in 50 cards with the um, whatever it is, like 40, it's like it's just another 90% chance that you're going to draw. Um, a paleo, uh, yeah. So um, we get into the extra deck. Um, I play two Toad, um, one Anonymous Alcaris, and one Apabinia. Um I always like playing two of this, but I think now with like such a rich extra deck pool, uh, as far as Link monsters go, uh, I just had to cut something. Uh, so I lost. I dropped Apabinia last minute. 
Uh, and then I guess this also kind of falls into the same package. Um, one Carla Anemone. Anemone? Anemone? Uh, um, yeah, this just lets you like climb. Uh, if you're ending on a toad turn one, you can just make this instead of making toad. Uh, and it's just a free link monster, which means then on your next turn, uh, it's a link to the like plus whatever you summon off swap plus like a Ronin, you can always make like a link four. Um, so yeah, this is cool. Um, and then we play, we just play all the all the nightmares. Um, you have extra space, and I think it's just good to have the utility cards in this format. Um, then we play one Link Spider and one Almirage. Um, Link Spider uh, is important. Um, basically, if you want to make um, access code or verte, you need effect monsters. And sometimes it just comes up that you need to turn a Paleo from being a normal monster into an effect monster, and Link Spider just lets you do that. Uh, and then Almirage. Um, Almirage is just here for when you open. When you open Sangan, instead of drawing Tour Guide, um, it means you have nine cards that let you get into Swap Rogue. So, yeah, I'm really cool. Um, and then, yeah, I guess these don't need to really be explained. The the access code and the Verte. Um, Verte is obviously summoning this. <laughs> uh, I didn't really have any other targets in my deck to fusion summon. But uh, yeah, uh, Druin's pretty nuts. Um, I think any deck that can try and access them, this format is just going to be good. Uh, and it's going to beat a lot of the rogue decks because of it. Um, then you play one Entis, uh, it's just here for, um, uh, what's it called, the Dogmatica, like Dragma um, matchup, like, people are playing that engine. And then to round up to 15, um, <laughs> this is what I cooked the Apabinia for, uh, one Levier. Um, so what's cool is that like if you open with a frog hand, and like access to swap frog at the start. Um, it means drawing tour guide. Uh, you get to access Levier, and then Levier brings back. Um, like you can banish swap off Ronin, and then Levier back, and then send off swap, and then just link climb and, and recycle your resources basically. So um, yeah, Levier is pretty cool. Um, I thought it was a nice secondary um, interaction the deck could have with the Sangan package. Because um, not only does it let you access Swap Frog, but now um, Levier just acts as kind of like a better Liancolia. Um, obviously, getting you to uh, this, like getting you back into this the, the Frog engine. So yeah, um, that is the 15 card extra deck, and that's the profile, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, if anyone has any like questions about ratios, go ahead and ask them. Uh, I've ran like most of the mats on this deck. There could be, um, and if anyone has any like suggestions on different trap cards, different ratios, different engines to put in this, uh, like I want to keep it as close to forty as possible. So if you think something just isn't as good as it should be, um, yeah, please just comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if anyone's wondering why I didn't play um, uh, 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 Olenoides, or yeah, Olenoides, um, I side three. Um, I don't think you need to main it this format. But um, it's like the best trap card to put in against backer deck. So yeah, that's the deck. It's 42 cards. And yeah, it's a uh, Billy team member. So that was my Pedro deck. Uh, I really like the deck, obviously. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think um, a lot of the disruption in the deck, this format is pretty relevant. So yeah, uh, shout outs to uh, Sarah. Because I feel the right <laughs> Yeah. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, because I keep forgetting to say this. <laughs> Cheers.